Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Lam, the lead actuary and data scientist at Metabiota. And I'm joined by my colleague, Jacqueline Guerrero, Associate Director of Product, Policy and Partnership. We're here today representing Metabiota, sharing our journey in the Lloyd's Lab and what we have learned and achieved in these quick 10 weeks. To start out with a brief introduction of Metabiota, our mission is to make the world more resilient to epidemics, which is a mission that we have focused over the past 10 years. Our products are designed to help prepare for and mitigate against losses from epidemics and pandemics. And this is where our journey began before joining Lloyd's Lab. These were the suite of analytic tools that we have developed over the years to help quantify the epidemic risks and insurance coverage design. In the center here, you see a screenshot of our platform, which houses a global database of high resolution of historical and near real-time outbreak data. And to fill in the gaps of historical data, the platform also includes our large-scale epidemiological modeling, which contains thousands to million years of outbreak simulations, from highly likely to extremely rare events to provide estimates like exceedance probabilities. And in addition to all of these, we have also developed the Epidemic Preparedness Index to measure country level preparedness to detect and respond to outbreaks, sentiment score that estimate the level of fear an epidemic can cause, and transit hub score, which scores how disease might spread to different transit hubs. In June, our CEO, Nita Madhav, pitched our vision in partnering with Lloyd's on how to mitigate losses from COVID-19 and future pandemics. Our plan is to identify market needs, prototype, and develop market standards. And throughout these 10 weeks, we have met with our mentor regularly on discussing some of the toughest questions, like what are the needs of the markets? What are the missing tools? How can our expertise help? And thankfully, with the help of our mentor, Bobby from Everest Re, Patrick from XAXL, and Tom and Luke from Tokyo Marine, they all have contributed significantly in helping us identify the right tools to enable the insurance market to solve these tough challenges in responding, managing, and writing these risks. And you will actually hear from Bobby later, who will demo our hot off the press prototype product. We hope to take this further beyond Lloyd's lab, work closely with Lloyd's on developing comprehensive solution and market standards. And before I pass it on to Bobby, I just want to give a brief highlights on the tool that we have focused on in the lab, and they fall into these three categories. The first one is alert and early warning. This is with our digital surveillance database. We can create customized alerts for you, which is expert validated and from trustable sources. The second is for outbreak monitoring response and coverage triggers. We have developed a COVID risk index, which measure COVID's current status, trends, and vulnerability for locations all over the world, is currently developed for COVID, but have the potential to expand to other diseases and pathogen. And last but not least, we're linking our epidemiological modeling output to economic losses to provide a financial view of the risk. Using GDP and sectoral breakdown as an output is intended to provide risk assessment across many different types of insurance product. And I know you all have been waiting for the demo. So right now I'll pass it on to Bobby to show our prototype or shiny, which is an exposure visualization platform that showcases our new product. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. Hello everyone. I'm Bobby Shang, the lead pricing actually at Everest Global Markets. You might see my dog here as well, so she's joining us for the talk. I've had the pleasure of mentoring uh, Metabiotis as part of Lloyd's lab for the last few months. It's been extremely insightful, and I've definitely learned a lot about the you know, very topical area of disease modeling. So I'm glad to have the opportunity to demo this tool for everyone today, and to highlight a few areas that could be useful for uh, insurance applications. So let's uh, jump right into it. So uh, as you can see, the tool itself is very visual and interactive. So Metabiota produce many metrics and indices that can be displayed as layers on a map. So let's start with the COVID risk index uh, as an example of our event response. So the index itself is a measure of severity at a given location. It's weighted by three sub-indices the current status, 
the trend and the vulnerabilities of that location. So let's uh, let's pick a country here. Let's go for let's go for Germany. So as you can see, I mean that there are many differences on on the map. Uh, the index ranges from one, which is the lowest risk, and five, which is the high, highest risk. This kind of interface really lends itself to starting strategic discussions. So you know, we'd be answering questions like, should we renew an upcoming account? You know, what's the risk level of that? How is it trending? If we get a new opportunity come through the door, are they in the right areas and sectors? How risky would that be to us? Any countries, sectors that were over or underweight in? And um, we can view an example of that by uh, selecting, let's say, the trend sub-index here. You can visualize, you can also add, add some, uh, some visual cues to uh, reinforce that message. So, so once, the, once the discussion is going, then uh, we can focus a bit more on the numbers and figures and then really think the ability to, to track a standardized set of uh, metrics over time is uh, going to be invaluable for things like loss reserving and uh, claims handling. So let's look at uh, the economic loss modeling element of this tool. And this is where we can leverage the stochastic event sets and see the impact to specific areas of, uh, of the economies of countries. So let's take hospitality sector as an example. Uh, let's say we're quite heavy in this sector in Europe. Uh, the tool can assess by country return period and likelihood of a event similar to COVID uh, happening uh, is. So does that tally with our risk appetite uh, and perhaps loading is useful pricing? A natural extension of that would be the ability to upload existing portfolios onto the system. So something similar to an exposure management system. Uh, and that will allow the monitoring of aggregations, the assessment of diversification in a portfolio, and even automatic uh, outputs for regulatory returns, which I'm, I'm sure is uh, going to be uh, a pressing need going forwards. So let's let's revisit a different different sector. Let's take uh, let's take retail for example here. So suppose we have a large retail submission come through the door. Lots of locations across Europe. Currently, it's not super clear how we would assess the vulnerabilities uh, of loss in the underwriting process. So this tool allows you to do that. Uh, currently in an event such as COVID, but also through the, the curves here will allow you to make that assessment across the distribution of likely outcomes uh, and derive a loading for all uh, communicable disease or epidemic, pandemic type events. It serves as a dual purpose for both. And I guess, completing the journey on this one. Suppose you wrote this account and a year later, or two, if we're unlucky and you're into another event, then we would have the locations and risk already loaded in the system. And you could even use the data output as a early warning system for your claims and underwriting teams engaged with brokers and clients for loss mitigation purposes. I hope that that gave you a taste of how the insurance industry can use and leverage data sets, expertise, and research from Metabiota to, to help navigate the new and emerging uh, risk category. And, and with that, I hand it back to uh, Jacqueline at Metabiota. Thanks, Bobby. We really appreciate your demo and all the guidance that you've provided us during this process. 
Our conversations with you, our other mentors, and throughout the entire lab experience has highlighted to us the breadth and the depth of the Lloyd's Network. And we're very thankful for the last few months to understand how the market is changing in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our conversations with our mentors have led us to develop new products like the early warning system, COVID risk index, and economic loss model that Kathleen described and Bobby demoed. These new tools touched on the first step that we had initially pitched, identifying coverage gaps and demonstrating our ability to model the risk. We aim to pursue the others with Lloyd's in due course. We have many lessons and takeaways from our lab experience. We've learned a lot about how the market works and while the market is data-driven, the market is dependent on strong relationships and trust. The Lloyd's Market and community builds these strong relationships and we're now thankful to be part of this community. We've also learned that insurance, especially underwriting and pricing, is both an art and a science. Solid science, models, and analytics serve as its foundation, but there's much more intuition and creativity in the market, especially for an emerging risk class like pandemic risk. We also have strong conviction that the private sector, together with the public sector, both have critical roles in providing solutions and creating incentives for preparedness and resilience. These solutions can take into consideration the history of the risk and can rely both on models and creative intuition to understand, assess, and price the risk. However, we must be careful not to over-design from the current impact of COVID because the next infectious disease threat may look very different than this current disaster. And with that, we will answer any questions that you may have about our experience in the lab or products that we have demoed. But again, we want to thank our mentors, Lloyds, Elmarks, and everyone who has made this such a fantastic learning experience. If you have any questions or if you'd like a trial account to our products, please contact us at info at or find us on LinkedIn. Thanks again.